Hello everyone, this is Luke. Um, this time uh, we're gonna talk about agape or love in the Greek sense. Um, agape is such an important word in the New Testament, the Bible, and it has a really interesting meaning to it. I, we know that it is love, but uh, English word love is quite weak. I mean, we, we say in a sense of uh, you know, like, for example, I love ice cream. That means I like ice cream a lot. Uh, but agape, let's see what agape means. So agape is love. It has got, you know, in its uses, it can mean benevolence, goodwill. Um, but in, in, the, in the, the way it was used in the ancient Greek was that of a preference. So the love which centers in moral preference. So its meaning focus on the preference. For example, you prefer someone over someone else. So if you have a boyfriend or girlfriend or husband or wife, then you prefer your partner over all other people. So you agape or agap. So verb form is agapao. So you love that person and you chose that person over all the other people. So that's agape. So you focus on that personal thing. So therefore, when it's used in the Greek New Testament, it also, you know, has that connotation or meaning of preference to prefer. So God, you know, we, you know, people who are loved by God are preferred by God or God prefers or God chooses. That's how, you know, over everything else, God made human beings and God loves human beings more than anyone or anything else. He, he created angels as well. But his preference, his love, his agape is towards the human beings. So, so in when we say agape in the in um you know in the earthly sense, you know, so we can think of the way we can how we can love that someone or so you know that we can prefer we can think of them we can pay attention to them. So that's you know. So we can think of the ways to really make someone special, feel special because we pay our attention to that person. So it can mean sacrificial love as well because you prefer that person over yourself. And it, it's important that we don't misunderstand that. You know, we don't neglect ourselves. We still respect and love ourselves. At the same time, we put or focus our attention on other people as well, just we, as we love ourselves we love others and other people, just as we prefer our own desires in a general sense, we also should prefer what other people think and, or prefer and the ways to love them and serve them. So that's really important because that's how God loves us. You know, God doesn't just leave us alone, but he actually you know, provides the sun and the wind and the rain and everything that we need. Um, and um, so the question is, will I, you know, love my wife? You know, I'm married and I have a wife and it's important that I agape my wife over everyone else, every other women. And, um, and also when I love my neighbors, even someone I don't know well, it means to pay attention to them and find out and also how I can prefer them or how I can really make them be or feel special. So that's really important. So I mean, it's a one sense in a Greek sense. Um, 
you know, we thought about. Uh, and the Hebrew word for love is also very interesting. So I will talk about it next time.